Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you some hot fire highlighters that are either brand new or coming out. Uh, and I will let you know about the launch days and all that stuff. Yeah, we're getting into summer, so glowy skin is like the whole thing. And I've been receiving so many highlighters, I figured I'd have to share them with you. So let's just get into the video. Ooh, made in Italy. All right, so the first ones that I wanna talk about are the new Melt Digital Dust Highlighters. These are so beautiful. This is actually, this is what I'm wearing right now on my skin. I'm wearing uh, Gold Ore and Stargazer Mix. So I'm going to show them to you. I'm gonna give you some swatches. So this is Stargazer. It's a really nice neutral. It's kind of similar to uh, a Becca Moonstone, I would say. Maybe a tiny bit more pink. I'm gonna give you a swatch. First of all, I love the print. I don't know what it says. Oh, I think it just says Melt Cosmetics in a bunch of different fonts, which is really cool. They always have the coolest packaging. They are magnetic when you close them, like the stacks, and they kind of mimic that. So if you do stack them, they have a slight bevel on the top, so they kind of fit together if you want to stack them. They're, I don't think they, they're not going to stay like that. They're not going to travel that way. So anyway, let's talk about Stargazer. So this is one swatch of Stargazer. It's a really beautiful light neutral color. It's gonna be perfect for fair skin. Um, I think that I can probably use this when I'm really pale and I can even use it if I mix it with a tan. So I'm wearing this mixed with gold ore, I believe. Gold ore all over, well, basically all over myself, even on my, on my shoulders. So these actually launch tomorrow. Today's the 26th. They launch on the 27th, April 27th. And the only thing is I don't have anything that says how much they are, but this video will probably be up after they come out, but they are available and hopefully they don't like sell out or anything. I'm hoping that they keep them in stock because they are absolutely stunning. The gold ore is this beautiful gold shade. It's stunning. And I actually used these in my last tutorial as eyeshadows and they worked beautifully. This is one swatch of gold ore. So I would describe gold ore as more of a neutral pale gold. It's not really yellowy, it's not too copper, but it's a nice warm shade and it's gonna work with a lot of different skin tones. It would especially be beautiful on medium skin. Nova is this really stunning copper shade. Absolutely beautiful. I used this and gold ore on my eyes in that last tutorial. This is copper, definitely copper. Um, it's along the same lines as gold ore, but it's definitely got a little bit more red orange undertone in it. And I think it would be perfect for deep skin. So this is a swatch of Nova, one swatch of Nova. The finish is just really beautiful. It's a stunning sheen. I'm not entirely sure how well the camera is gonna pick up the finish just because, well, I can't tell until I look at it. But I would say that Stargazer and Nova are extremely, it, they create a beautiful sheen on the skin. And as much as I love gold ore, the pearl that they used is just a little bit thicker. I don't think that there's anything wrong with it. And uh, I definitely think that it's absolutely stunning. The color is beautiful. And I think this formula is still amazing. But just if I had to compare all three of them, that's how the formula kind of differs. All right, so next up are some new highlighters by Galani Cosmetics. They're called the Celestial Skin Luminizing Powder. So we've got In Love, Sin, and Tease. The only problem is I have absolutely no idea when these ones are launching. They told me, but I totally forgot, but I believe they're launching soon. And as far as their powders go, I'm assuming that they're gonna be around $24. Don't know for sure, but if you compare it to the rest of the powders on their site, it'd probably be around that. So the lightest one is Tease. I'm gonna give you a swatch. This again is just a really nice light neutral. Super pigmented, like crazy pigment. I would say it's a little bit light. Now that I'm looking at it, maybe it's a little bit lighter than Becca Moonstone. But before I swatched it, I would have thought it was a little bit darker. But this is just a really beautiful pale neutral. Next we have Sin, which is a dark bronze color. It looks like it's got gold in it though, but I would say a little bit more neutral. So this is Sin. The swatches are amazing. They swatch really beautifully. I'm seeing kind of a red undertone with a gold overtone. And then last we have a kind of, I think they refer to it as a rose silver. For me, this would be kind of like a blush overlay. I don't think that this, this would look beautiful on deep skin though, but it might be a little bit cool tone. So it depends on your undertone. Uh, and this is called In Love. Did I say that already? I can't remember. So this is In Love. So this is a very cool toned pink. It looks like they used a few different kinds of pearl because it kind of has a lavender 
influence, I would say, like a lavender undertone with sort of a gold, really pale gold overtone. That's what it looks like to me, but it might be kind of like a pale gold silver. I don't know. I don't know how much I would use this. I think I would probably use it as a shadow because it's not quite warm enough for me to use as a blush or a blush overlay. And it's definitely like, I don't like straight up pink highlighters. It wouldn't look good on my skin tone in my opinion. It does look beautiful. I don't know. I'll have to try it all over my cheeks. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So these are launching soon and I believe they'll probably be around $24. I kind of want to mix these two. Let's see what happens. All right, now I have these two highlighters by JCat Beauty. Uh, I think they have quite the range of highlighters, but these are the only two that I have. And I have the shades Crystal Sand, which is the light one, and Moonlight, which is a gold, a light gold shade. So I think you guys have already seen these in tutorials, I think. This is Crystal Sand. Beautiful. That, I'm immediately attracted to this shade. All of um, all of the light, anything that's close to Becca Moonstone, because I just have such a, I have such a, I don't know, what do I have? I have such an obsession with Becca Moonstone. It's such a beautiful shade. So these feel like they have less oil in them, so they're going to feel more lightweight on the skin, but they won't necessarily, they still give you a beautiful sheen, but they won't necessarily give you that wet look, if that makes sense. Oh shit, I can't open it. So this is Moonlight which again is beautiful. It doesn't swatch as, I mean, it looks amazing on camera, but it doesn't swatch as well as, what was this called? Crystal something? Crystal sand. But it is a really nice gold shade. That's beautiful. This is a, this is a highlighter that I can use. I don't typically use gold highlights, very, very gold highlights, but I feel like that's a highlighter that I could get away with using even when I'm, well, not when I'm pale, but when I'm like around this, I'm, I tanned last night. So this is my, this is my tan skin tone. I think it would work beautifully with the makeup that I have on right now. <sighs> All right, next up we have the Spotlight Highlighters. This is a collaboration. All right, so next up we have the Spotlight Highlighters. These are a collaboration between Smashbox Cosmetics and Casey Holmes, uh, who I did not know about at all. I don't stay in the know, I'm really bad, uh, but I Googled her and she's beautiful. We have Pearl is the lightest one and Gold. So we have a light pale gold shade, perfect for fair skin. Then we have sort of a neutral bronzy shade and then we have kind of a, it's a color that's like in between. It's very close to the middle, but it's a little bit more neutral and a little, kind of rosy. And they are called Turn It On Pearl, Crank It Up Pearl, and Blow a Fuse Pearl. So this is the lightest one. Ooh. Yeah, the last one's kind of a little bit rosy. It's like you've got a bronzer, a bronze blush overlay and a highlight. That's kind of how I'm looking at these. So I think the two darker ones would be beautiful on fair skin as a blush overlay. And then the light one would, is definitely for fair skin, fair, light to fair skin. And then this is the gold palette. So we have this light pale neutral gold, and then we have kind of a gold bronze, and then we have a little bit of a blush overlay. So it's a little bit more pink toned, but it has gold flecks. So that's the pale neutral gold. It's, it's very subtle. It's more of a, more of a natural highlight, the formula. Ooh, then we have the bronzy gold color. All right, well then the last one on that palette is, it has very chunky pearl in it, very chunky gold pearl. So it feels a little bit more rough um, and it's definitely more powdery. It's not quite as, it's not quite as seamless as the others. Um, I don't like that one. I'll just say it. I don't like that one. I wouldn't use it, but the other two are absolutely beautiful. So for those of you who don't know, Casey Holmes is definitely more on the fair skin side. So these two palettes are, I'm assuming, created for her skin. So it doesn't exactly cater to medium or deep skin tones, but if you're fair skinned, fair to light medium, I think that these would be really beautiful, but uh, I definitely prefer the pearl palette because the gold one has that, what's it called? Blow a fuse. I didn't tell you what these ones were called. Hold on. Oh, okay, so they all have the same name. So it's all turn it on, crank it up, blow a fuse, but we have turn it on pearl, and then we have turn it on gold. So that's how the names work. That confused me. All right, so as far as prices, they are $35 on ultabeauty.com, sephora.com, and smashbox.com. So $35 for that highlighter. All right. All right, so next up, we have the Spotlight Highlighting Palette. Oh, Spotlight Highlighter. Isn't that what this is called? Yeah. So Smashbox and BH both have spotlight highlighters. So we have the Spotlight Highlight Palette. This is a six color palette. Uh, we have this beautiful bronze, bronzy gold. Then we have a, like kind of a medium gold in my opinion. Well, as far as my skin tone goes, it's more of a medium gold. We have this super pale, that's like a snow white, but it has sort of a pink and gold 
duochrome look to it, dream in the center. And then the bronze color is called radiance, which is really beautiful. And then we have some blush overlays and then a, and then, so you've basically got, well, in terms of my skin tone, this is how I'm looking at it. I've got two bronzer overlays. I have a very, very, very pale kind of duochrome color, a very pale gold shade, and then two blush overlays. But what I love about palettes like this is, first of all, you can use all of them as a shadow. You can use them as inner corner highlights. You can mix them, which is my favorite thing to do. So it offers a lot of variety for different skin tones because using that as like a brow bone highlight, I mean, come on, or an inner corner highlight, or as a shadow, <laughs> so they are pretty versatile, which is what I really love. And the formula is really beautiful. So I'm going to swatch them for you now. So these are all of the BH highlighters from the Spotlight palette, and they are absolutely beautiful. The formulas are consistent, extremely pigmented, and you get a lot of payoff. And they are $16.99. I think that's really, really good for the quality. Payoff is really beautiful, and the colors are stunning. So I definitely think that that's worth its money. All right, and last we have the Rose Gold Palette by Violet Voss. This is humongous. Oh my god, I didn't even realize how big it was. But uh, this actually came just in time. I got this yesterday, and I was planning on filming this video today, so I'm really glad that I received it. First of all, the packaging is beautiful. And Violet Voss has really stepped up their game with their packaging. It's really, really thick. It's paper. So this is the Rose Gold Pro Highlighter Palette. All right, so we have um, a light neutral gold. That seems to be... There seems to be some themes going on with these highlighters. Rose is definitely in. So we have a light pale gold, which I love. So the light pale gold shade is called Bloom. Then we have Rogue, which looks duochrome. If I had to guess before I swatched it, it looks like it's kind of... I just stabbed it again. It looks uh, like it's a peach peach and gold shift. Then we have Tea Rose. Ooh, Tea Rose looks beautiful. Tea Rose is a deeper... It looks like a deeper version of this a little bit with a little bit more gold. Like a rose undertone with a gold overtone. Then we have Fleur. For anyone who doesn't know French, that means flower. Ooh, which has a bronzy gold undertone with sort of a pink shift. Then we have Petals. It's just like a really beautiful medium bronzy shade. It's a little bit more neutral. It's not super copper. And then we have Blossom, which looks kind of similar to Petals, but a little bit more rosy. This is actually my first time even swatching these colors. All right, so this is Bloom. Oh man, that's intense. See, they already got me. All right, so we've got Rogue. Yeah, so this is a kind of a peach and peach and gold shift to it. Peach, pink, and gold duochrome. That's really pretty. I bet these two would look amazing mixed. All right, and now we have tea rose. Oh, that's actually really similar. They don't look that similar. It's a little bit more cool toned than rogue, but it has, it still has a gold overtone, a gold pearl to it. All right, so next is fleur. Okay, so fleur has a very cool toned pink undertone. And then it has sort of a, a yellowy gold overtone, but that's really beautiful. They look stunning together. I wouldn't look at those two colors and think that I loved them separately, but together they really mix well. All right, so next is Petals. It's kind of a gold bronzy color. Ooh, ooh, oh my God. I wasn't expecting that. That's really beautiful. So it's like a, it's like a pale, neutrally warm gold. It's not, there's no, there's no yellow in it. That's really beautiful. What's that called? Petals. Oh my God, I love that. Okay, so last is Blossom. Ooh, that's beautiful. Actually, these two right here are probably the ones that I would use as a blush overlay. I don't. I never use rosy or peach or pink highlighters unless I'm using them as a blush overlay or if I'm doing like a really creative look. But that's really, really pretty. I like that a lot. So this will be available on Thursday, May 4th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific. And it is $45 for six super pigmented colors, metallic and duochrome finishes. There you go. I totally agree with that. All right, guys, so those are all of the new highlighters. New highlighters, either to me or to the industry. This one's coming out in a little while. Uh, we got a couple that are coming out tomorrow, so they'll probably have already come out before this. you even see this video. I should say that all of these were sent to me. I did not purchase any of these with my own money. If I had to choose my favorites, I would probably say... Personally, I think the Melt highlighters stand out to me because of the colors. I think they're all really, really stunning. I love them. I think the formula is nice, but honestly, I kind of expected it to be a little bit better. I, I don't even really know how to explain that, but I thought that they would be a little bit more buttery, and they do feel... I think because of the imprint in the product itself, it feels like it's baked and I don't typically like baked highlighters so with a baked foundation or a baked 
blush or big highlighter, it can be difficult to pick up a product. And you can kind of say that with this. It's a little bit difficult to pick up product, but the colors are stunning. And I do think they look beautiful in the skin. Like I said, it's what I'm wearing today. I have to say in terms of formula, I think the Galani highlighters are my favorites because they're extremely pigmented. They have incredible payoff. And personally for me, the color Tease is like my absolute favorite. I just think it looks really beautiful just because that's like a beautiful color for me to use any day. It's like a Becca Moonstone, but the formula is just so beautiful. I don't know, I'll have to try it more, but I definitely think that this is like my favorite. This is the one that I gravitate towards the most. And when I swatch them, they're just so buttery and soft and they just glide on the skin. So these are definitely in terms of formula, my top picks. Honestly, the Violet Voss palette really impressed me. I love all of the colors. I think they're really beautiful. I think it's because it's more warm. There's a lot of gold, there's a lot of peach, and that's kind of what I gravitate towards, especially for summer. And I think that that's the most flattering on the majority of skin tones. I just think it looks like, it looks beautiful. It looks really beautiful. And all of these would mix really nicely together. I'm open to this. I don't know why, it really, it appeals to me. I would use all of these pretty much as, as blush overlays. And then that is just a beautiful highlighter. So that's kind of how I see it. I do, I think actually, I do have a coupon code with Galani Cosmetics for 20% off. I don't know if I still have it going, but it is Vanity A. I'll put it here and it gets you 20% off site-wide. So anything you want to, if you're not interested in the highlighters, if they haven't come out yet, or if you're looking for something else, it gets you 20% off. If it doesn't work, let me know because I don't actually know if it's still with them. <laughs> so let me know if you try it and it fails um, and I can contact them and see if we can do that. Yeah. Anyway, all right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And let me know in the comments down below if you have any of these highlighters or if you're planning on getting any of these highlighters. And let me know if there are any other ones that are coming out or have just come out that you think I need. Because I can tell you right now, I never have enough highlighters, never. Just on this table alone, I have like seven other highlighters. All right guys, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.